Westridge is about tradition, but it's also about creating new tradition. And then Westridge has recognized early on that science and mathematics were going to be the lingua franca of the early 21st century. We want to give girls encouragement in the hard sciences and mathematics at the same level as English and the social sciences. And so that brought along a lot of the commitment that Westridge made to computers early on and to science education for girls. Letting girls out and letting them do science wherever we could do it. I brought science outside of the classroom. The girls traced their bodies and filled them in with their bones and we hung those around the gym where they couldn't be missed. We did observations of the trees all over campus. And it wasn't hard because if you turn little girls loose, they'll just do everything they can do. Then we got that wonderful building. Shout them out. Wet benches, dry tables, smart board. These lovely little girls thriving in lower school science. Departmentalizing lower school was revolutionary. And as we grew those girls up, the high school teachers could see that it made a tremendous difference. Lisa Alsh let me bring my upper school uh, AP Bio into her class, which they love. I try and do labs that show them how science is in the real world. Every year I've placed, now you know, 10, a dozen kids over in Caltech labs to see if they like research. Westridge has given me the opportunity to give that opportunity to young women. It is major here now. We built a curriculum to support what we were seeing in terms of the enthusiasm on the part of girls. But it's the kid who didn't know that they could be interested and that they could be good at it. To me, those are the great success stories. It's exciting. I had two girls last year. Soroya hated science with a passion. And Marlene, who everyone thought would go off in drama or English, they worked with John Grotzinger, who wrote our college-level textbook, and it was about the question of life on Mars. And with that, they then went off to Stanford as Earth Science majors. Westridge is a place with a very clear understanding of how buildings and spaces enable or forbid interaction or shape one's experience. This idea of having this science commitment to a new state-of-the-art facility science building is amazing. And then going just beyond making a building that can be a teaching tool, you know, this is visionary stuff. So kids will be able to see some of the, the ways that we can live in a much more environmentally conscious way. There'll be some passive solar, there'll be some recycling of water, there'll be smart electricity panels. I read in the paper last week that there were a couple of girls who have done some amazing science project working on enzymes and transfer RNA, DNA, and all of that intricate science stuff. Working with people at Caltech, I have this fantasy. I can see them in that science building where they can find that passion supported and fulfilled. Everything that we do at Westridge is about the kids and it's about education. It's about giving girls an opportunity to pursue their passions, and then about giving kids a riches of facilities and stuff, equipment and books and computers and talented people. Westridge is a tough school. I mean, Westridge is a school that hits, um, you know, on all cylinders. In science, they have tremendous academic grounding. The idea is to just open up their eyes to just the breadth of what science really is. So, you know, on the board has to empower board them board that they can be one. anything. So three automatically is out because uh -huh. there is no two. Uh, because so D five. has five orbitals. Okay. So it's negative no two, two, negative one, zero, one, two. Okay. Then how do you know where <laughs> electron is? Yeah, because don't you, you count... Oh, oh.